that no, milk is not racist. Some people claim that it's racist because predominantly white people have a lactose tolerance. This is because, as the people moved out of Africa and into the Caucasus region, they encountered one of the three main cattle groups. The Bos Taurus, the Afro-Euro-Asian species. The Bos Indicius, the Zebu Indian cow. And the Bos Primigenius, the Ordox which was hunted to extinction in 1627. The cows spread throughout the Eurasian steppe in the northern lands. Given the need for stable food, and the ability for cold to prolong shelf life, much of Scandinavia and the British Isle has a lactose tolerance of 85 to 100 percent. Basically, the hotter the weather, the higher the lactose intolerance. Notables at many distant island territories have high intolerance rates as it wasn't until recently that cattle was easily able to transport or care for their, meaning no dairy cows. Asia and Central Africa have high intolerance rates due to dairy cattle not generally being present, given that early people would need to both domesticate them and have a random mutation happen where they gain a persistent lactose tolerance. This is not to say that they are all incapable of digesting milk as the Maasai people of Tanzania and Kenya have this active gene. Though they are being evicted by the Tanzanian government to establish a hunting game reserve. The Karimajong tribe of North Uganda, the Nuer tribe of Ethiopia and South Sudan along with the Mundari are some African tribes that have domesticated cattle for meat and dairy. Meaning that they can digest dairy while places that don't eat beef or dairy like Korea have relatively low lactose tolerance. TLDR some got lucky by having cattle and having the lactose persistence gene active, while others didn't need it or see the gene activated. So now you know.